the one thing that is maybe required is to maybe read the documentation extensively, mm. which is something like once you're starting out, in case something that doesn't make sense to you, just like ignore it. So I had that tendency when I was starting out to just maybe, in case you have something, a piece of code working somewhere, you just copy paste it and maybe go with it. But as you go over, as you come maybe to the senior level, you realize that most of this concept you have to have a, like a deep understanding in order for you to like tweak it to your use case. Because you might be having like a button, but yes, it's very easy to create it, but what what if you, you are required to customize it in a certain way? So once you don't have like the basic understanding of how this button works or how this button is built, you'll find it very challenging to actually customize it. And it is something maybe I usually find a lot of people kind of struggling with it because most of the use cases, you can never find like use cases that are 100%, even on the courses, you'll find someone says, let me show you how to build like a, an app like, uh, let's say WhatsApp, but they not go into other details, how to customize and all that. So in case you have like a specific requirement and you don't know how to like tweak this code to 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 your use case, you'll find like you you'll struggle a lot. So and to maybe to help you with that is just read the documentation extensively. It usually has like a lot of things which actually help you to grasp the the languages very easily. Another thing will be to also, at times you are you are forced to like be a perfectionist. Maybe let's say you want to build an application, you want everything to like just like run perfectly. So you can by that method you can also you can see like it's you can get it hard to maybe finish like actually projects or maybe let's say there are sample projects you want to build a portfolio with. So the longer you take the more you find like this project are not maybe complete. So one thing I find effective is just aim for results. So long as, you, let's say you have that application, no matter how simplistic is, it is, but as long as you have these results over the time, these results come to build up to gain you more experience because you can work on one application for two years, mm -hmm. which is the experience is different once you have like work on a couple of other applications, the same yeah. two years. Yeah, so just aim for results. Another thing I'll tell people is focusing on maybe whatever language you are, that is maybe it can be Android or web, just focus, we have people who are trapped in between ev doing everything, which at the very start, which is very hard because these languages keep on evolving. They keep on adding new features each and every day once like in case you just watch over you, like your internet feed, you'll find like in web we have, there is this thing that has been announced in Android, it's this new thing that has been announced. So it's very easily to be trapped in between, I'm a full stack kind of a developer. So, and what I usually like to tell people is just specialize in one particular pattern. Just know like,